All right, guys, so this week's video, it is the third week of May right now, actually May 24th, and we're gonna sneak out and do a how-to trolling video. I just got back from Sturgeon Bay late last night, and I threw together some of my rods for those of you guys that have been asking me to do a trolling, a how-to trolling salmon video. Now, the one thing, let me be real clear, I am not dialed in out there yet. I have yet to troll out in Lake Michigan. All these charter captains and other guides that are up and down the coast that do mostly trolling, those guys are dialed in. For those of you guys that are looking to hire a captain, there's a lot of really good captains out of Milwaukee, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trolling spoons and we're gonna be chasing, specifically, I wanna target kings. Now there's a lot of cohos biting out there, but we're gonna be just trying to catch kings, meaning we're gonna be running big paddles, flashers and flies, and spoons mainly. We're not gonna even run any peanut flies. We're gonna try to catch our first king of the year. You ready, Tony? Ready. All right, well, let's go see if we can get some king rolling. Okay guys, so as you'll see in this week's video, um, I have a chesty that I'm wearing. Well, got a lot of great content on that chesty, the, you know, the fighting the fish, wine burning out, the rod popping, but uh, at the, as you can see, uh, the chesty is uh, she a gone. Like that rod broke, she a gone as well. So I, this week's video, we broke a few things. The chesty, I was leaning over to grab the downrigger at the end of the day down she went 148 feet of water so if you guys happen to find that chesty out here if you're diving around swimming out here in lake michigan do me a favor send me the sd card and i'll give you 20 30 dollars finders keepers that's our luck tony right last week we were up in michigan six pound bass none of the gopros worked i mean card air card just that this and that i don't know i think i'm gonna just maybe Apply where Tony's working at KFC for the third shift position they have. I'm about done with this YouTube stuff. We're going in now. Here we go. All right, guys. So we are going to start in basically 200 feet of water. And uh, we're going to start trolling. I'm with Tony today. We can troll six lines here on Lake Michigan for salmon. I'll probably run two dipsies, two downriggers, and two planer boards. Again, we're trying to target salmon. We're probably, hopefully, going to catch some cohos. And uh, my first trolling trip of the year, uh, going to get some, hopefully, catch our first few salmon of the year and uh, get started. Here we go. Oh, here we go. He's right behind it. He's all over it. Yeah, there he is, there he is. Yep. I was gonna say, he's all over it. Alright, third stick. It's actually burning. Burning a little drag. It looks like a big mark. I think it's a nice steelhead. How far down was it? Uh, that was 40. 40? All right. Here we go, fish right here. Yeah. Double the. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 careful, you just hit that. It's still on. Okay. Yeah. That's a coho. Well, we went from nothing to uh, something really quick. Yeah, it's usually how it is right here. Yeah. All right, we doubled up. Yeah. Yeah. Turn that clicker off! Oh, yeah. Turn that clicker off! What's the matter with you? Hello, you rookie? Turn that clicker off! Yeah, we read the comments. <laughs> oh, man. I like the clicker. It makes it feel like it's bigger than it is. Yeah, you can hear when it burns dead. I'm going to get the net. Yeah, I got a little shaker. Where's your fish? I got the claw straight up front. Put your rod up front. Give me that line. Got it? Yeah. Point your rod to the front. Point it. Keep going all the way up front. Keep going. Point yeah, the rod up front. front. I know. Ah! Point it up front. 
That's a long ass leader there, sir. Yeah. Woo! We on the bar, Tony! Right. Yes! A coho trolling, Tony! A coho trolling. That's a nice one, too. Yeah. Five pounds? Yep, there we go. Fish number one. Going in the box, Tony. Going in the box. Going in the grease. Time to reel in fish number two. We got a cluster going on. There's one right here, right here. Oh, yep. oh geez. That's a seven color. We're in them now. Yeah. Leave it and just grab the net and that's it. It's a real, is it my first king of the year? Oh, my first king, Tony! Yeah. I wanted a king! Yes, it's a king! First king of the year. That's like you're Yeah. Yeah. All right. First king of the year. First trip. First king. Swing him in. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. One of the homemade hot flies. Beautiful. We came out here for king, baby. That's what we want. That's freaking go. 200 copper. Feels pretty. Good. Oh, yeah. A, is that a king, a little king? Coho, dude. Is that a coho? Coho. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Giant coho. Fish. Yep, yep, yep. You want me to click this one shut? Down 38 feet. You want me to click this one off? Shut on off. King, 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 yeah, another king, right here, yeah, just getting set back up, it's either a big coho or a nice king, letting this line out nice and slow, letting it creep out, kind of got a mix of, let me tighten that up, you know our speed right now guys is 2.4 to 2.6 miles an hour. And uh, we just ran into some fish, so I decided to make a big, a big loop here, a big turn. And I'm on again, right here. Here he comes. Nice king. There he is. Nice king. Heck yeah. Yes, I want kings, baby. Out here in 160 feet of water, getting some nice kings. Get that net ready. On the spoon, guys, same thing. Love that moonshine spoon right there. Catches me a lot of kings and cohos and everything. Yes! 
King number two. Nice fish, nice 13 pounder. Heck yeah. Made a turn, right back on him. We're gonna end up limiting out. Getting kind of chilly now a little bit. Is it? Yeah, you feel like that breeze picking up. Yeah. Might have just it's been the sun getting yeah, yeah. Did not wake up. She she took a nap. That's about that's about right. Your history. I did know my history, but now now I'm starting to question whether or not I should have paid attention in history class. Never pay attention in history. Make your own history. Don't remember the past. Make the future. Right, Eric. That's right. How's that fight, Larry? It's like a good time. He's coming, he's coming at me, charging me. Oh, that's a giant. It's all right. Yeah. That's a dime, bro. That's a good one, too. Nice bubble. You got the big one? I got a lot of fish. Yeah, he's fucking put up one of the You got the double? Za, za bukla, za bukla. I love What's it mean? Means everything good in life. Zapukla does not come to you. <laughs> <laughs> it means bad luck on your friend. We have a catch on. We like to troll. It is so much fun. It's a very productive way, and it clearly makes your brain go a little loopy, you know. <laughs> When you sit around, I have to start casting. Oh, we're gonna do casting videos out here, I promise. Alright guys, I think we've got maybe eight cohos and kings so far. We've been out for just a couple hours. And I just want to go over what we're getting all our fish on. We are targeting kings. We're catching cohos while we're targeting kings. And we're targeting that depth range from like 30 to 60 feet where we've been seeing them on live scope. One important little trick I want to tell you is when, when you're fishing for kings with a flasher and fly, meat rig, a jig and spoon, what have you, just gonna measure. So we've got like a 26, 26 inch lead here, 25. But what you can do is sometimes you can have a, a 22 inch, a 29 inch lead. The lead length, depending on the captain you talk to, just varies. I pretty much will run 22 to 27 inch fly leads. And we're going 2.4 to about 2.8 miles an hour and I've been running a seven and an eight color has been working really good 
with a flasher and fly, but you can run a 10 color, you can run copper, you can run steel, a 200 copper took a couple of fish. So a whole variation, but anywhere running, we're running that 30 to 60 foot depth. That seems to be where we're getting our fish. The water's still fairly cold, 49 degrees on the surface. So that's the deal, that's what we're doing, and I think we got a fish on. All right. Another little coho, guys. Thing is, we're just out here targeting kings. Turn the clicker off. Please, I can't hear you with the clicker on. How's that? We're targeting kings, just running the king spread. This is what we're getting. Lots of these nice little cohos. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. I should probably net them, but I'm just going to flip them in. Come here. Come here. There he is. Those are nice cohos. Really nice fish. We're targeting kings, catching cohos, that's what's great. You know, if a lot of guys come out here and the cohos are the best eating fish. I should whack this thing. Cohos are the best eating fish that you could probably get out here on Lake Michigan, in my opinion. Fresh, beautiful cohos like that. They're great to eat. We throw them on ice, we bleed them out. You can grill them, you can blacken them, bake them, fry them. Fresh salmon, it's awesome. Whoa! Like that. Whoa! She got him. What the hell? She got him. Oh, look at this fish coming up to it. Look at this, look at this. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it, look at it. He just came all the way from the bottom. Did you see that? Look, he's down right now. Down right now. See him? He's right here. He's gonna eat it. Right now. Oh yeah. There he is, right there. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Here you go. <laughs> that was epic. Here, that was cool. That was cool. So cool. He came up 30 feet below it. That was so cool. Is this a king or a big tall? He came flying up, dude. That was so cool. Oh, yeah. Big tall. Big tall. That was so cool. Is he a king? I don't know. He went down, I guess. Yeah. What do we got going on? Going all over the place. It might be a steelhead. That was really cool. He literally came What the heck? What do we got here? He's running all over the place. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. I'm gonna pull in the other line just so it don't get in the way. That was Turn off that clicker! Don't you wanna hear the drag rip? Oh we yeah. got a king, boys. Yeah! We got a king. Oh <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Okay. Hell yeah. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. 30, 30 or 40 feet below the bay. And we want it to king. We are hooked up on a king, baby. Hell yeah. Uh-oh, we got another one here. Do we? Yeah. Doubled up? Yeah. Oh, we're doubled up. There he goes. There he goes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god. We got a big thing, dude. Those were big head sticks. Good. I got you. I got you, buddy. I got you. This is the end of the day fish right here. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. That was so cool. Looks like a big fish, too. On the, on the grass. I like fighting the fish without the board, too. Craziness is what we want. Craziness is what we get. Nice. 
Alright. Sorry guys. Took you took you people off now. I just wanted to get pulled in today. Yeah. Nice fish. Dude, that's a big king. Yeah. That's a big king. That's a tail on I know. That's a big king. Let's freaking go! Big spring king, baby. Big king! Big king! Stay on, baby! Stay on! Stay on! Come on! Got a big old tail. I know, dude. That's a big one. That's a big four. Got him! Yeah! Yeah! Got him! Got him! Let's freaking go! Let's go! That's a stop! Go, baby! <laughs> Oh, the hook just popped out. Look at that. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. What a stud. What a beautiful wild. That's a natural fish. fish. Yeah. We were all natural fish. 20 pounder, Let's buddy. Yeah. That's what we wanted. Big Springer. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Just weighed this beautiful king, just shy of 20 pounds, right there. We came out here, we caught three beautiful kings, seven cohos, we missed a bunch. First trip of the year for me, actually, to come out here trolling. Just wanted to do a little shakedown trip. Remember, if you want to catch kings and cohos, try the spoon, meat rig, and flash or fly program, just basically targeting kings. You're still gonna get your big steelhead browns. Everything eats a flasher and flies. So hopefully you enjoyed this week's video. Put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on them, broke a rod, got a limit, had fun. Springer Kings, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you got any questions. Where should we be fishing at next week? We're doing videos all across the Great Lakes and we're gonna come out here and hopefully next week and show you how to come out here and jig them up. Thanks for watching this week's video. Gotta go clean up some food.